Hello and welcome to Enjoy English School. 欢迎来到 Enjoy 英语学院 I'm Stevie and I'm Lori. Today we are looking at part two of our business English lesson, and our subject or topic was a scheduling conflict. And what happened was Shane and Darina, they were meeting a client in the boardroom, in the same boardroom. They got double booked. Okay, they both booked the boardroom for the same time on、mm. the same day, and so they're trying to work it out. They're trying to figure out how to solve the problem, and、uh, well, one of them came up with the idea to partition or split the room in half. So they went looking for something to partition the room with. 嗯哼，所以呢，今天来到了我们的这个第二天啊、哦。那么要来看到的这个呃中文的这个主题是这个会议撞旗，桥一桥啊、哦。那么呢，刚刚 Steve 老师已经帮我们简单的讲了一下昨天。那么最后结束在这两个人要去找一个东西来把会议室分成两半，隔成两半。所以他们到底找到什么？那有没有成功的解决这个问题呢？我们就赶快来看看吧。Okay, looking at part one of our dialogue. Remember, this is day two, so we're in the middle of the dialogue. Day. Shane and Darina enter the boardroom with a sliding partition. Okay, remember yesterday they didn't know, or in our dialogue yesterday they didn't know what they could use. They said they had to find a partition of some sort of some kind.、Mm. Well, they actually found one that is used—a partition. We could call it a partition wall that is used to split a room in half.、Mm. And so now Shane and Darina enter the boardroom with a sliding partition. A sliding partition is a partition wall that you can slide or move. 嗯，所以呢，我们来看到今天的对话哦。这个一开始，他情境的设计就是 Shane 跟 Darina 他们两个人走进了会议室，而且带着一个滑动式的隔板。这里的 sliding 哦是滑动式的，所以呢，他们两个成功的找到了一个隔板，而且还是可滑动的。嗯哼。So Darina says, "Hey, good job finding this partition." So who found it? Shane. Shane. Yeah. So Darina says, "Good job finding this partition."、Mm. She said this because they're they're pulling it into the room. That's right. right? So it's right here with them. This partition. Hmm. So, 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 so
隔板。那么刚刚呢 ，Stevie 老师补充的是 ，recall 这个字它比较正式，所以你讲起来那个语气会不太一样。那如果只是一般比较生活化的口语的方式的话，你可以说 I remembered， 其实就可以了。嗯哼，哦，就是我记得哦，几个礼拜前在储物柜有看到它、啊。You could also just say, Oh, I saw it in the supply closet a few weeks ago. 哦，这个就更简单了。Yeah. 哦。Um, I'm not sure how to set it up, though. When you set something up,、uh, you're basically moving it, doing something so that you can use it. 对 Like when you first buy a computer, you have to do some things to set it up so that you can use it. Hmm. 所以呢 ，set something up 其实指的是把某个东西，你做一些动作，让它变成可用，可以开始用。但是在这里，因为它是一个隔板，所以我们中文可以翻成说，我不太确定要怎么把它架起来啊、哦，把隔板架起来。Yeah, like when you buy a new phone, you have to set everything up.、嗯、对。Right? 所以刚刚举的例子，比如说你买新电脑，你买新手机，你也都要做一些动作，让它变得可以用啊、uh, ，ready 啊、uh,。所以呢，那个都是可以叫做 set up。Yep. Okay. And now Dorina says, "Ah, it's on wheels, so we can just roll it where we want." So it's on wheels. That means there's wheels under the wall, so we can just roll it. We can push it where we want. We don't need to do anything special. 对。没有什么需要 set up 的哦，所以呢 ，Darina 就回答他了。他说：“这个底下是有轮子的、啊、哦，它是有带轮子的，所以我们可以呢推着这个 it， 就是指那个隔板，到我们要它到的地方就可以了。” And we could say we can just push it where we want,、mm. but we say roll. 它不是整个都在。滚,滚 right? Uh, uh, but the wheels are rolling. 对 ，so we can still say. We can say well, you just push it where you want it,、uh, but if it's something that's on wheels, then you can say you can roll it. Hmm. So, 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 I really wish we didn't need to do this. This also sounds very formal. However, he could have said, "Ah, perfect. That'll be easy." But, but I really wish we didn't need to do this. 对 This, however, also makes it very formal. 嗯，所以呢，这里的 however， 但是，也就是 but， 但是呢，呃，这里他用了这样子的这个字，就变得语气就又正式起来了啊、哦嗯。我真是希望我们并不需要来做这样的事情，就是用一个隔板来隔会议室，然后两边一起用啊、哦。那这里的 wish， 它不是用 hope。啊、哦，就是因为 wish 的这个事情，可是其实它没有办法发生，所以呢，这时候你就会用 wish。Yeah. 嗯。And the next sentence is also quite formal. You know, I really wish we didn't need to do this, but now Dorina says, "Yeah, this is due to what happened between Megan and Lyra." I know on. The English tests in Taiwan.、Uh, these are all on the test using however, using due to something something, and this is also very formal.、Uh, you might hear this this phrase in like the news, if maybe the health minister is saying due to. Something, something more COVID cases. We're going to blah 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 blah, and. But it just means because of, no due to. So here, the sentence says this is due to what happened between Megan and Lyra. Normally, we would say, yeah, it's because of what happened between Megan and Lyra.、Mm. It's because of. So when we use due to, it sounds really formal, and sometimes that can sound a little strange. So be careful how you use that one, students. Hmm. 
，OK， 所以这里的话又出现了一个比较正式的呃用法啊、呃，让你的语气比较正式的，就是 due to。那其实它就等于刚刚 Stevie 老师说的 because of 啊、呃，那是一个比较口语化、生活化的表达啊、呃。那么呢，这句它 d e r e n a 就是说哦、呃，对呀、啊，哦、呃。这个，因为回答他那个现前一句讲的，真希望可以不用做这个事情，所以他说：“对呀、啊，哦，这都是因为哦，发生在 Megan 跟 Lyra 之间的事情了。”嗯 ，And Shane says, "Oh, did they have an argument? So did they? We could say, 'Did they have a fight?' But that could mean 吵架 or it could mean 打架 Yeah. Okay. <笑> so, oh, did they have an argument? Uh, I I wasn't aware. I didn't know that that happened.、Mm. 对，所以 Shane 就说了，哦，他们有吵架吗？哦，他们 have an argument， 就是有有吵架吗？我并不知道耶。Darina says, "Yeah, it happened the other day. The other day just means a few days ago." 嗯，所以呢，接着啊。Uh, 这个 Dorina 就回答他说：“对呀、啊，哦，那么事情是发生在几天前呢、啊、？”Lyra was singing with her headphones on during break, so maybe during her lunch break or something. She was sitting there with her headphones on singing. 所以呢，接着 Dorina 就开始描述事情大概的经过。他就说 ：“Lyra 呢，她在唱歌啊、哦，什么状况下唱歌呢？”戴着他的耳机，然后呢，在这个休息时间唱歌。Megan got annoyed, so Megan did not like hearing the singing.、Mm. Megan got annoyed. She was unhappy about this, so she said her singing voice, Lyra's singing voice, was terrible. Oh, your voice is terrible! Stop singing. 对，应该就是这样。Yeah. 哦、oh, ，好，所以呢 ，Megan 呢，她被这个唱歌哦，这个歌声 Lyra 的歌声呢，搞得不开心，被惹恼了哦，叫做 got annoyed。然后呢，所以她就说，她唱歌 Lyra 唱歌的声音呢，就是非常的糟，不好听。Now they aren't on speaking terms. This is a phrase we use if somebody is not talking to each other because they're unhappy about something. Maybe they had a fight or an argument. So we're just we're not talking to each other. We are not on speaking terms. So, 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 很不专业，很不专业。Yeah. Okay, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back with the rest of our dialogue. Okay, we're back, and now. Uh, we're going to finish today's dialogue. Now we just said these two coworkers are not speaking to each other, and we said it was unprofessional. Right. Right.、Mm. Uh, so now Shane says, "Wow," and we nearly suffered the consequences of their petty fight. When you suffer the consequence of something, that means that you have to deal with.、Uh, Something that I don't know in Chinese, the word for consequence is 结果结果 right? 对 So when you say suffer the consequences, it just means you have to deal with the results of what happened、mm. and of their petty fight. When we say it's a petty fight, it means it's silly, it's dumb, it's small things,、mm-hmm. it shouldn't have happened, it's petty. Hmm. 对。所以呢，这个时候 Shane 哦，他听完了这个 Darina 描述 Lyra 跟 Megan 之间发生的事情之后，他说：“哇、wow, 哦、呃，表示他也非常的惊讶，就是才有这种事情。”然后他接着说：“然后我们几乎要叫做 nearly 哦、呃，我们几乎就要差一点点呢，就要 suffer the consequences， 是指付出代价哦、呃。当你因为这个结果而受苦，那就是你付出代价。那什么的代价呢？”
of their petty fight， 因为他们这个非常小事情的吵架，非常琐碎的事情，很蠢的这种吵架，我们差一点点就要付出代价。嗯、mm. ，and just this is something my grandfather always told me when I was little. He would always say, "You can choose to do anything you want to do, but you can't choose the consequences." Of what you do, oh. So yeah, you're free to do whatever you want, but then you have to deal with the consequences. Hmm. So, 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 那个代价是什么？那个、对对 ，Yep. 嗯、uh, ，Okay. So then he says it's best to keep good relations with others in the workplace.、Uh, we could also say it's best if you get along with others in the workplace. 嗯。Get along with others 就是也是处得好的意思， yeah. 所以跟这里讲的一样的意思，就是最好 It's best， 就是这样子是最好。怎么样呢 ？To 后面告诉我们，就是保持良好关系叫 Keep good relations with others， 跟其他人保持良好关系，而且是在工作的这个场所， mm-hmm. 这样是最好的。Yep. Uh, so Darina says, "Yeah, I agree." 嗯，所以 Darina 说，对啊，我同意啊。While it is important to be honest with others, we need to be mindful how we express ourselves too. So she says, "Yeah, I agree. It's important that we're honest with people, but we need to be mindful. This means you need to think about things. We could say you need to be sometimes careful about how you say things. You need to think about what you're saying before you say it." Uh, we need to be mindful how we express ourselves. So yeah, maybe Lara shouldn't have been singing、uh, with her headphones on loudly at break time in in the office. But also maybe Megan shouldn't have said, "Oh, shut up! Your your singing is terrible." <laughs> you know, they need to. Sometimes you need to say things in a in a little bit of a nicer way. 对。就比较 ，it can fix a lot of problems。对，没错。好，所以呢，他就讲到说，哦，这个尽管 while， 尽管呢，哦，这件事是很重要。什么事呢？就是你对其他人要诚实，这件事是重要的。但我们也需要呢 ，be mindful， 是要注意我们如何表达这个事情，这个方式也是要注意的。嗯哼 ，Shane says that's very true.、Mm-hmm. I agree with you. 对，所以 Shane 他就说，哦，完全没错。I guess we will have to inform both receptionists about future reservations for the time being. Now, inform again. This is very formal. Inform is we could just say. I guess we'll have to tell them or let them know. We'll have to inform both receptionists. A receptionist is a person who works at the desk, who、uh, takes phone calls, makes appointments. About future reservations, any any bookings in the future, we need to let both of them know. For the time being, this means, well, I guess for right now, we need to make sure they both know.、Mm-hmm. 对，所以呢，接着他讲说，那我猜哦，我猜了，我们可能必须要 ，we will have to， 干嘛呢 ？inform 是告知哦，所以我们呢，可能关于未来的一些预约，目前我们的方式就是要告知两位接待员，两个人都要知道，才不会出现这个 double book 的现象。Mm. Yep, it's almost two thirty. Our clients will be here soon. 嗯，然后他说呢，快要两点半了，我们的客户快来喽。Now, Darina says, "I'm glad we were able to sort things out in time,、mm. so they did it before their clients came." 对，所以呢，这时候 Darina 说，我很高兴，我们呢能够，我们得以叫做 be able to， 然后 sort things out in time， 就是及时的把事情都安排好，处理好。All right, let's go greet them. 嗯，他说好了，那让我们去跟他们打招呼吧。Okay, so they had a happy ending, except、yes. for Megan and Lyra. <laughs> <laughs> okay,、uh, that's all the time we have for this. We'll be right back and、uh, quickly review our vocabulary and phrases.
Okay, taking a look at our vocabulary words, the first word we learned today was recall, to remember something. We also use the phrase set something up or set up something. You set up a new phone so you can use it. We learn the word annoy, to bother somebody, to make them unhappy or angry because of something you do. Number four, to not be on speaking terms with somebody. That means you're not talking to somebody. You had a fight and you're not speaking. You're not talking. Number five, suffer the consequences. Uh, you can always choose to do anything you want, but you will also have to suffer the consequences of what you do. We talked about the word mindful to kind of be careful and think about what you do before you do it. Number seven was to inform, to let somebody know something, to tell somebody something. And for the time being, like for now, this is what we will have to do. And those are our words and phrases for today. I guess we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.